Hello fashion sewers. If you're new to the channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. Welcome. Consider subscribing. If you enjoy uh, looking at sewing lookbook projects, which I do on my channel, I also have lots and lots of fashion sewing techniques. I've also started a new series in which to, which has to do with my makes and refashion projects. So I do outfits of the week and I usually upload that on a Saturday. So um, refashion projects, sewing techniques, I'm now starting a sew and tell. So I'm going to do a little bit of sewing and talk to you at the same time. So I am going to be talking about fashion sewing, the secrets of fashion sewing for your style. So I'm gonna share with you five secrets to help you with your style when you are thinking about making garments for yourself in particular. So let's get started. So I have been to the charity shop, um, charity shop, uh, there's store, there's another place for it. We call them charity shops in England. And I have found this cute white jacket. Yeah, there we go. And um, I'm not gonna show you too much of it because I'm going to be wearing it next week. So I want you to see how I'm going to be styling it. So it has, well, pockets, I'll be, yeah. It has well pockets, I don't think you can see that too well. Um, and it's open. So this one, I've already done that one, I've already sewn that one closed. I'll show you the other one on either side. And it's open, can you see? It's open there, so it's, it's gaping. So I'm gonna close that one. So there's a couple of issues with it that I'm sorting out before I style it and wear it and show you guys. So um, I'm going to be sewing and talking to you at the same time. So if you see me looking down, that's because I'm doing some hand sewing. So I've got my thimble here, I need my thimble. Um, so yeah, so one of the things that we need to think about when you are sewing for yourself and you're trying to think about your style, the best thing to do, the first, very first thing you need to think about is your body shape. That's the very first thing. The very first secret is think about your body shape. 95% of us know, in my opinion, what our body shape is. So, you know, if we've got small boobs or if we've got large boobs, then you more or less know that you're going to be kind of like top heavy. Um, if you've got a small waist and really big hips, then you know you're going to be pear shapes. So there's all different categories of body shapes out there. There's about 13 different types actually. In recent surveys, I know back in the past, I think it was only about four or five, but it, it, is, it is a lot broader than that. So um, the first thing is if you can understand your body shape, it makes it easier for you to choose patterns and therefore you'd be styling yourself within the patterns that you are wanting to purchase. And I know that that part of it can be a little bit challenging because a lot of patterns only have very slender, yeah, very slender, perhaps rectangular shape women on the front of the envelope. So it can be a little bit challenging to know whether or not it's going to suit you. But if you clued up on your body shape, then that will that's half your journey to getting patterns in order for you to sew and make them up whether you have to alter them or not. So really think about your, I'm doing a lot of talking here and no sewing. So, um, so really think about um, your body shape and that is halfway to getting your project looking the way you want it to look. I've got two sisters. I've got a younger sister who has this kind of rock chick vibe going on and my sister that follows me, um, <laughs> oh sorry for laughing about me and my younger sister always sees my other sister because she really doesn't have a style or she thinks she has a style uh, and she does have a style but it's her style but it's, it's, it's a style where she thinks anything and everything kind of suits her, she likes everything <laughs> and not everything suits her. And so um, I've tried in, over the years as big sister, I'm, I'm the eldest, um, to kind of like give her some advice and uh, <laughs> she doesn't take it. <laughs> Do 
if she's just take big sister's advice. Hmm. Um, um, so she really doesn't take it. So uh, is it really a case of, um, I just love her style. I really do. You, you, you really do not know what she's going to turn up in. You more or less know what I'm going to turn up in because it's something like, oh God, what's Colleen, what has Colleen made now sort of thing. And with my younger sister, it's like, there's this like, kind of like, like I said, you know, like a, a rock chick vibe going on with, with, with their um, <laughs> style. But my younger sister, I, do, I, 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 my sister that follows me, I just love her style. I do. I really do. And I'll, I'll tease her. I'll always tease her because I'm big sister and yeah, I'll always tease her. But know your style, know your body shape and then you're halfway there. So, and I'll, and I'll continue talking and so at the same time. It's something I haven't done before. This is the first sew and tell that I'm doing and I'm getting carried away by just looking at the camera and sewing, which is, I'm sure that's okay. Just let me know in the comments if it's, you know, a bit too, too much of me looking down and not looking into the camera, which I'm sure I'm going to do more of looking into the camera than actually focusing on my hand sewing. But, um, yeah, definitely think about that. Don't be afraid to mix your style. So if you think that you like something, maybe it's, maybe it's a trend and you like it, but you're not sure it's gonna be suitable for your body type, go for it. Cause you don't know. So what's the point of just saying, well, I don't think it will suit. Just go for it. If you think the pattern is not necessary for you, then you can always, always refashion what it is that you didn't think that you wanted to sew. But you can also buy and maybe find it in the sale so that you're not wasting too much money and then decide whether or not you like it in particular style. Don't stay away from the style because you think, yeah, that's not really a good way to go. I mean, I, I'm i the sort of person that if I like something, I've, I've got a short torso and long legs and um, so not necessarily high-waisted things is suitable for me, but I like high-waisted things. <laughs> and you know what, I'm gonna go for it. And then you can use other garments to kind of find the balance to take away from, you know, the fact that it is high-waisted and makes you look, you know, a little bit more, <laughs> as, though you're, <laughs> as though your torso is, is, is about here sort of thing. So um, yeah, do, Go ahead and try styles, even if you don't think it will suit your body shape, because you just don't know. And if it does, you want to win it. If it doesn't, you've learned a lesson. And life is about learning lessons, yeah? Okay. Well, I'm going to do some sewing. Um, so, yeah, so that, that's a, another thing you need to think about. So do think about mixing your styles um, whenever possible, and then if you've got the confidence to do so. Another thing that um, I don't find a lot of people talking about this, um, that when you are trying to find out what clothes suit you or don't suit you, the trick is when you're looking in a mirror, put something on, the moment this goes like that, that is a moment that you need to kind of capture in your mind and think, yeah, you know what? That doesn't look half bad on me. Yeah, I like that. And then trying other things that you don't think will suit you. And if this doesn't change, and you think, mm, I don't know, no, then stay away from it. Because once you put something on, you start to smile. It, it's working. You probably don't realise that what you have on suits you because you may have had negative comments from other people. Ignore. Seriously, ignore other people. It's all about you and you feeling comfortable. And if you feel comfortable in the garment, that is amazing. If you feel a little bit uncomfortable because of what other people say or are going to say, mm, I don't know, I don't know. You shouldn't let, you really shouldn't let that be part of your equation for how you want to dress. Um, I struggled with that because of the fact that, you know, I'm, when I was younger, I, I was extremely shy, an extremely shy person. And one way that I could get through being shy was showing my creativity in whatever I made. So I used to always get comments about, God, who do you think, who, really, who does she think she is? I mean, look at her. I mean, like, mm. And you know what? Those comments are jealousy comments. So really, 
do what you want to do, wear what you want to wear and ignore other people because trust me, they're saying it out of jealousy. That's the only reason. And if you made it and they're buying theirs, hey, come on. Yeah, wear it proud, you made that. So make sure you wear it with proud. So always make sure that you do bring a smile to yourself when you are trying on clothing. I'm checking on my notes here. And the, 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 I've lost, am I on a third point or fourth point? Third point, dress your personality. Now, if you don't know how to dress your body shape, dress your personality. And I think that's what my, my, my sister that follows me, she does. She dresses her personality. Um, I don't think she realises she's dressing her personality. And I think I've only come to realise that she is really just dressing her personality, even though all three of us have different body shapes. Um, yeah, she's definitely dressing a, a little bit of her body shape, but I think she's dressing more of her personality. And if you can dress your personality, it really does overcome the fact that you're not necessarily dressing your body shape. You know what? That's fine. It's fashion. Have fun with fashion. Don't take fashion too seriously. Really, don't take it that seriously. Take it seriously to the point of where you are comfortable. But make sure whatever other people are saying, and I need to do some sewing, <laughs> what other people are sewing, saying about you, if they are other people saying anything about you, then just, you know, just let it go over your head. And if it's your mind telling you that you think people are saying something, then, you know, perhaps just work on that a little bit more and just kind of like, you know, just show off what, you know, what you're comfortable with and then work up to getting more comfortable and wearing what you want. And so, I'm just going to recap. So the first one is to know your body shape. That makes the whole process a lot easier for when you're buying sewing patterns or you're actually buying garments from the shop. The next is to don't be afraid to mix your style. So if you're not certain about style, but you really like it, then go for it. You know, don't be afraid to mix because you never know, it may, it may just work for you. And if you don't like it, you can always pass that garment on to someone else or you can always refashion it. The third is to dress your personality. And, you know, if you're not too sure about number one, which is to dress your body shape, then dress your personality. I think it is just about as easy to dress your personality as it is if you know your body shape. So if you're not too certain about your body shape, but you are, you know your personality and what you go for, then go for it, regardless of what anybody says. Um, the next is, the fourth one is um, to put on lots of accessories. And if you're a person who likes accessories, and I do like a lot of accessories, but you sometimes don't know whether it's too much or what you shouldn't, you shouldn't um, wear any accessories or keep it to very minimum then put them all on and then take them all off that's what I that's what I do that's why I did today I was going to wear bangles but I haven't got any bangles on today so I put them all on and it's like you know I stripped them off there's about six hours when I went it's like no it's just it was just too much so you know you'll know what's comfortable for you and maybe it's about mood because maybe I I would if I wore this outfit again I may just have bangles I only put them on one hand as well and usually put them on both so maybe yeah i'll wear this outfit again and probably put it on both because it wasn't doing anything for one even though i was taking them all off so that is a secret to um you know if you're not too sure about accessories and finally is um clothes when you are trying on whether it's a sewing project and you're not sure whether you're happy with it or not um and you're trying on different clothes or trying on different sewing app um, sewing projects if you smile while it's on your body, even if it's a sly smile, you know, or yes, then you know that's the right type of garments to be wearing to complement your body. So it's a case of a, a little bit of trial and error, but if you're starting out for the first time in particular, then always try on something that you think that you like. And then if you're smiling throughout that process, then, and you know it's, doing the right kind of covering of your body shape, then that's the kind of style to go for and try and stick with that style going forward with the sewing projects and refashioning projects or if you, you know, buy one of 
only one or two items from him, you know, <laughs> from the retailers. So that's it. Those are the five secrets to, so those are the five secrets in order to help you with your fashion sewing style. There's more, but those are the five that I would go for. The first five on the list, I would say. So if you enjoyed this video at all, please give it a thumbs up and please do share. Do leave a comment below if you want me to do more sew and tell. And I'll make sure I do a lot more sewing because I haven't done much sewing, have I? But I know I'm going to finish this because I want to show you, um, you know, the results once I've, once I've done it, which will probably be next week. Um, so, yeah. So I will see you next time.